Hi, it's Dave Williams from digitechcoach.com.au and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite apps for DJing on an iPad and that's called DJ2. It's about seven or eight dollars in the app store and this is your go-to app uh, as far as I'm concerned. If you're having a party or running a school disco or just want to have um, some cool music playing in the background, uh, this is the app that's really going to uh, get people noticing uh, what you're playing. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna show you some of the features and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So um, here you have two turntables, so it simulates uh, a traditional DJ setup. Um, obviously the simulating the vinyl feel. Um, so here you have the choice of where you can choose your songs um, and, and what you wanna load into each deck. Um, you can see the, the uh, BPMs and the um, the time of each track. So I've already got one, uh, a track selected on deck A and over here on deck B it's very similar. You choose the um, the song and load it into the cart and it will um, be there for you to have access to. Uh, down the bottom you have the crossfader and the idea of the crossfader is that whatever I'm playing on deck A um, will play that side. And if I press play on that side as I crossfade between the two um, and as I get closer to the right hand side or, or deck B, you'll have that song dominate the audio. So um, that's just a standard DJing uh, mixer tool. Um, so let's turn those off. Um, so that on its own is very cool. Um, and I'll just move back to the middle of my crossfader um, there. But yeah, that alone is a very cool feature of DJing, being able to mix two tracks at the same time and also being able to come at the top here and being able to record um, your mixes as well is pretty cool. All right, so that's a quick look at the crossfading. Um, other features you can have a look at over here is that you can um, increase the tempo, making the track faster. Or going the other way around and slowing the tempo right down. That's something that you wanted to do. Right. Um, you've also got uh, scratch features. So, um, although it's not quite as good as the real thing, uh, you definitely have the ability to play around and find those cue points that you can really get a good scratch sound from. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, when you tap the uh, little light button down here, you'll get that slow record startup sound, which also has a really cool feature to it. So that has a great sound as well. And then pressing that again will, will slow it right down. So uh, <clears throat> finishing a set or starting up a set uh, in that fashion could be a really cool um, feature or unique feature to your set. You've also got up the top here, you can jump between um, sections in the track and you also get to see the waveform of each of your tracks over here and you can see as you drag your um, finger along the, the timeline here, you'll see the arm of the record player moving as well. So um, yeah, you can do that or you can just pick up the arm of the record player and move it anywhere you like to start um, or to find that point where you want to set it up. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, over here you'll see a white dot um, on the record. You can just see that um, at about six o'clock now. Um, so that's what's called a cue point. And you can see down here, I can set um, cue points at the top here. So that little white dot is a cue point. So for example, if I just press play, um, and I've listened to this, I've pre-queued the track and I know that I want to go to there. I can just press this button down the bottom and it will automatically jump We'll make a jump back to that part every time you press it. So that's pretty cool. Or I might say I, I want to have that section here on this particular track. So I'll set that now as the cue point and um, that becomes the cue point every time you press it. So um, using the Griffin uh, headphone splitter, um, you'll be able to uh, pre-cue one track, listen to it, find your cue points, and then you know when you want to uh, lead a track in and out. Up the top here, so for example, if I'm, uh, I'll just do that cue point back to about here, and 
And if I'm playing this track over here, you also get individual volume for each track. So you can see in the top right hand corner, I'm just pulling down the volume for uh, this particular track. So how you do that is by pressing um, play over here on the other track. And as you're using the crossfader, you might start to drop the volume on the pretty lights track and move across and start fading that track in. So they're the kinds of techniques that you want to practice and get used to. That's how you cross fade in a, or mix in a track in um, DJ terms. So um, that's a skill on its own and it takes practice and um, lots of listening in. So that's um, those features shown. If you come into here, you've got lots of options as far as um, using a beat pads to uh, have a kick or a snare. And some of these are um, custom to uh, the, the app as well, but you can also come across here and you can see that I've got other samples that I've done. So if there's a particular uh, sample that you want to use within your DJ set, you can um, come to the, um, to the buttons and you can cue those as your own. So for example, let's just go with um, edit and I'm going to go to snare 2 and I'm actually going to replace that with um, either a, an effect that you can download or um, you can see down the bottom here I've got um, deck 1 and deck 2 so I'm going to get that pretty lights again I'm just wherever the cue point in that pretty lights um, is so uh, I'm just going to now hold that in and that's basically recording that um, sample I'll take my finger off that and now when I go to here it's queuing uh, that sample that I, that I just recorded so that's pretty cool as well so if you've got an event on you want to have different samples or uh, things along those lines you can even uh, turn the sample volume up and down so it doesn't dominate track or you might have it or you might want that where it's a really loud sample so um, there's some cool features. Uh, the next best thing about uh, DJ is the auto mix function, which is just right there in the middle. So the idea of the auto mix is that if you have a, um, a playlist or lots of songs that you want to have um, played at a party and you don't want to be, you can't be bothered um, sitting there and changing each track, you can get um, auto mix to do that. So by pressing auto mix, um, you can either cue songs up. So or what songs do I want to play next? So you find songs in your library. Um, and uh, let's just go with, uh, we'll go with that track. Um, so that's going to come up next. Um, then you could say, all right, well, what playlist do I want? So you can make your own playlist. Um, let's say we'll go with this acoustic remix um, playlist. You can choose whether you want it to be shuffled or not, or whether you want it to play in a specific order. Um, and then you can look at transitions, so um, how it automatically mixes the two tracks together. Is it synced by BPM? Um, and uh, how long is that uh, that um, crossfader going to take to go from one side to the other? So at the moment, it's about five seconds. All right, so let's just um, start auto mix and see what happens after that. So as you can see, it's um, playing this Fade Out Lines track. And then if I just move the playhead to further down the track, it's going to start to um, fade in the Pretty Lights track. So let's wait for that to happen. And then you can see the automatic transition between the two, and then it should load the next track that we queued up, which was the Ain't No Body track. Um, and then we're just going to um, press and skip this track a little bit. It should then fade in the um, next track. So I'm just trying to speed it up and simulate how it auto mixes the tracks for you. Okay, 
and just do one more track. So now I'm just starting to add the playlist. Okay, so you can sort of see that the music just flows really, really well and it does make it for a, um, a really cool vibe. And if you can get music of a similar um, feel and genre and beat, um, yeah, you really do start to set the, the tone for a party. Um, yeah. Okay, this is the last one I'll show you. We'll just let that sink in. All right, so... something going on with the beats there but you know we've lifted back up all right so that's auto mix that's a really cool feature and um, it's one of the most used features I use um, for this app so whenever I'm having a party I'll just make up a playlist and then uh, pretty much just cue it and then press play and then throughout the night you've got continuous music with no gaps it really does help lift the party and um, you have lots of people commenting, oh, who's DJing this set and all that sort of stuff, when all you've really done is created a playlist and hit play. Um, so, yeah, it's a very cool feature. Uh, I've also used it during gigs when, um, uh, just as a backup, it's always on, it's always ready, so that uh, if a, a song starts skipping or if you have an issue with uh, some of your gear, you can quickly flick it to um, the DJ app and you know it's pretty reliable as far as, uh, audio goes and um, yeah you can pretty much continue to uh, play the track and no one knows any difference while you're sort of fixing up your gear so um, I've also used it as a teacher on school camps on discos just in classroom for playing general music and um, yeah I absolutely love it and it saves uh, bringing all your gear with you you can hook it up to school PA systems for assemblies uh, all that kind of stuff and, and the kids actually love getting in there and having a go at um learning uh, how to DJ and this is a really inexpensive way for students and, and, and kids or anyone of any age to um, see whether they want to try their hand at DJing and uh, see if they've got the skills and what it takes to, uh, to take it further. So um, definitely a really cool app and I think uh, you're going to enjoy it and uh, your parties are going to be all the better for it. So uh, this is the Digitech Coach, and that's how to rock out um, your next school disco with the app DJ2.